All right, I'm just going to work through some more kind of exceptions to the octet uh, rule where uh, you want to have eight valence electrons and uh, no more, no less. Um, and basically in the previous videos, we've just kind of been going through on exceptions where um, there's actually more uh, than uh, eight valence electrons. And in this video, I want to, uh, I want to do one um, towards the end that doesn't quite have uh, eight. It actually has less than uh, than eight electrons, but there's one more I want to do that's going to have more uh, than eight, and that one is S uh, F uh, six, and this is uh, sulfur and fluorine, and you can probably guess because it has fluorine just that it's going to that sulfur is going to be the more metallic one, and uh, in turn be the central atom. Uh, but you can look at the periodic table. It is further to the left and down than fluorine, so it is more metallic. So you're going to write uh, sulfur like this, and fluorine is going to be, let me grab a pink color there, you're going to have six fluorines around it. So there's going to be uh, maybe fluorine, 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 and fluorine, fluorine, uh, fluorine. All right, uh, and they're all going to have at least a single bond between them. So I'm just going to draw single bond, single bond, single bond, single bond, single bond, single bond. All right, and the next thing that we're going to do whenever we do this is come over here and count up how many total valence electrons we're going to have by the time we're done writing uh, this dot structure. So we know that sulfur is going to have, what, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six valence electrons, so we're going to have six for sulfur electrons. Fluorine's going to have uh, seven, and there's, <coughs> pardon me, fluorine's going to have seven, and there's six of them. So that's going to be 42 electrons for fluorine. So we've got 42 electrons for fluorine there. Uh, when we add that up together, we've got 48 total. 48 total. Um, so we know that we've got uh, what um, two two electrons for each one of these single bonds, and there's six there, so that's 12. Um, so we just need to fill in the the rest. Um, so I'm just going to kind of uh, fill them in around fluorine uh, because we know that uh, fluorine at least wants to have eight because it is not higher or greater than a third energy level element like sulfur is. And you can kind of look down here and see sulfur is third energy level, so it could have more than eight, uh, it could break the octet rule. Uh, fluorine is not a, a level three uh, uh, atom there. It's not in the third energy shell, so um, its valence electrons are not in the third energy shell, so it's, it's probably not going to break the octet rule. So we're going to add eight uh, and just fill in as many octets around uh, fluorine as we can. All right, so I'm just going to, I know I've got two electrons there, so I'm just going to add, let me change my color there. We're going to add electron, two, three, four, one, two, four, and, and I know there's 12 here. Um, 48 minus 12 is going to equal 36, and I've got um, one, two, three, four, five, six fluorines here. And I can only add six ele more electrons to each fluorine to have them uh, make an, an octet. So 36 divided by 6 is, uh, is 1. So I'm just going to fill in 6 for each of those, and that's going to equal my remaining 36 elect electrons. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you can even, sometimes what I'll do whenever I write these out is I won't even actually count up all the electrons. You may have noticed in the other videos, I'll just go around and make, whether I have enough electrons or not, I'll go around and add an octet to all these fluorines um, and then count up my how many electrons I've used. And if I've used too many, I'll just erase them um, and, and go from there. And you can do that, and that's just fine. Um, you know, in fact, it might even be a little bit more pleasing mathematically by the time you're done, because you can say, uh, okay, I've got 
uh, eight electrons here, and there's six of these fluorines, so that's 48. I must have done it right. Um, so you can look at it that way. But this is another circumstance where sulfur here has, um, what, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 valence electrons. So these may be getting uh, easy for you now. Let me show you what's more commonly kind of, um, I guess, a trickier uh, example that you'll see. And this is really common on, uh, like, standardized tests and uh, uh, maybe the MCAT, stuff like that, um, where you'll see this uh, show up on there. So this is really a good one to do. Um, that's going to be BF3. Um, so just starting from the beginning here, uh, boron is more metallic than fluorine, so it's going to be our central atom here. Let me do a pretty color there for boron. We're going to have three fluorine atoms around it. We've got fluorine, and let's just do a fluorine, and a fluorine. All right, and they're all going to be connected by at least a single bond, and I'll do dots this time. At least a single bond. And we can say, well, fluorine's a halogen, so it's definitely going to be a single bond. And then we come over here and add up all of our electrons. So we know um, that boron has three, because it's in the third uh, group here, three valence electrons. And we know, because we've used fluorine so many times now, that it has seven valence electrons, and there's uh, three of them. So seven times three is 21. Plus 3 is 24. And so there we go. So we know we have to use at least 24 electrons. Uh, then we look at the periodic table again, and we can say, uh, well, fluorine is in uh, energy level 2, so it's it's definitely going to have 8 valence electrons, or no more than 8 valence electrons. Um, but boron here is not in energy level 2, uh, or is not in energy level 3 or higher, so it's not going to have any more uh, than 8 valence electrons. So then you uh, you just kind of um, follow the kind of the rule of electronegativity, and you say, um, well, fluorine is more electronegative than boron, so I'm going to try and make, uh, in order to make this element most stable, I'm going to try and fill its uh, octet first. And basically that's because this is more, fluorine is more electronegative, in fact, it's the most electronegative um, compound on the periodic table. So in order to make this most stable, I need to try and balance that out with an octet. So I'm just going to try and add dots around all my fluorines first to make them stable. And I'm not even counting how many I've used so far. I'm just doing all these octets uh, just because I, you know, maybe I think it's easier that way. So I know I have eight here, eight here, and eight here. Eight times three is twenty-four. So I've used all my valence electrons, but wait a second, I, I don't have a full octet here on boron. Well, because fluorine is so electronegative, uh, and we this atom and this molecule wants to remain stable, remain stable. Um, and fluorine is so electronegative um, that it's actually stable at this point. It's only going boron is only going to have six valence electrons, and it's happy like that, or I, I guess somewhat happy at least, happier than um, it having eight and, and one of these fluorine fluorines only having six. Um, so. Uh, this is an example where it's not going to have uh, more than 8, but less than 8. They can kind of go both ways. Um, but this example right here is what you're you're going to find, um, you know, you can almost bet you'll see it on a standardized test at some point in time uh, in your career. And that's how you're going to want, want to uh, uh, write it out. Um, and you won't want to do one of these. Um, a, a, lot, a big temptation is to say, well... Why don't we just take these two electrons, and let me do it in a different color here. These two electrons, and move these over here, and do a double bond. 
That way, boron's got eight, fluorine has eight, and we'll talk a little bit about why um, it, that's not the case in a, in a future video. Um, but I just want to kind of work through in these, this video series here on how to write these out and why this makes sense. So uh, look forward in the future to a video uh, on that and on how um, you can have in the d orbitals uh, these valence electrons that, uh, let me, the d orbitals on how you can have these valence electrons here um, to be more greater than, than 12. So uh, anyway, I hope that wasn't too confusing. Thanks for watching.